What up, Hawk Squad? In today's video, I'm going to quickly be going over some disc golf fundamentals, some really basic fundamentals, and I'm going to be explaining how, over the course of like four to five weeks, I was able to teach myself how to play with my left hand. So, hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys find some value out of this video. So the first thing that I did was I played three putter only rounds. So for my first three rounds, I literally took my P2, this one right here, and just went out there and played. I just had one disc, I didn't even carry a bag, I didn't carry anything else, and went out there with my left hand and just started to work on the form. I just, I knew I would throw my arm out if I tried throwing drivers as hard as I could. And doing those two to three putter only rounds really helped uh, help my form and throwing putters when you're brand new it kind of like it hides your mistakes But it also shows your mistakes it hides your mistakes by really not fading out or turning over too much No matter how bad you throw it. Uh, it also shows your mistakes by just showing you like exactly What angle you're putting on really is going to change the flight pattern of it One of the first mistakes that I noticed I was doing was I was coming from my hip and I was kind of just like coming up, up and out. And what it was doing was it was just sending the disc like high up in the air and then it was kind of just crashing down. But since it was a putter, it really wasn't crashing like too hard. Um, so I started to, instead of throwing like this, I started to crouch down a little bit and keep the disc kind of up near my shoulders. And then when I'm doing my little X step, it's just coming right through rather than coming from my hip and coming up. Um, even though it was a putter, like I said, it wasn't fading or turning too hard but I could tell right out of my hand that I was just like opening up my hips and I was just like throwing upwards and just like hoping that the disc kind of goes straight and crashes. But after my like second or third putter only round, I started to lift it up a little bit and just come straight through. And so you kind of want to like, you could even like touch your shoulder. You really don't want to be touching your shoulder, but that's just kind of a good guide at the height that you want to be keeping it at, especially when you're just teaching yourself basic putter throwing fundamentals. So. I'll give you guys a few examples. It kind of just turns into a big hyzer, and even though it's a putter, it didn't fade out too much. Um, it came out on a lot of hyzer, but I came from my hip and I just came up, and it really didn't go very far. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll try to adjust a little bit and I'll try to come up a little higher and come straight through and you'll notice a huge difference. These are my putters that I'm just kind of stepping up and casually throwing probably like 225, 250, and I'm really not like trying to crush them too much. So it just goes to show that even with very basic form and some practice just over a couple days or weeks, you can really get yourself to be able to throw putters straight and far, and it's gonna change your game dramatically. Up shots, tee shots, control shots, just trusting your putters. It's gonna dramatically change your game. And so that is definitely the biggest fundamental is learning how to throw putters correctly. Um, so I hope that, that tip helps you guys out. So after I was pretty comfortable throwing my putters and getting them kind of to where I just showed you and really just felt comfortable throwing my putters, I moved up a little bit to my flippy drivers. I don't know if anyone watches my normal videos, you really don't see this champion beast come out too often. It's in my utility pouch next to my putters. It's my flippiest disc I have. I know it's a 10 speed, but it's like, I lost it way back in 2014 and the Borderland Ranger desk marked it 73114. So this disc is at least five years old, probably like six or seven. And it is just so flippy, like I can't even throw it righty. It has to be a roller. Um, so I figured it would be a good driver to start with my left hand. And it worked really well at first. You could throw it on a ton of hyzer and it'd flip like all the way up. Sometimes it would even flip over if I gave it that extra snap. And so when you're transitioning from putters up to drivers, I do recommend going with flippier drivers so that you can still once again not be really ripping it and not be throwing your shoulder out or throwing your arm out um, once you have that general putter form down it's going to translate really well to flippy drivers because they'll just flip up and they'll glide much further than than a putter will so started with my champion beast moved a little bit towards my s-line fd which is a little bit more stable and then i'm also throwing the new discmania evolution instinct which has been really good as well 
So just transitioned right over to some flippier drivers. Uh, in the bag that I'm carrying now in my, in my rounds as a lefty, I really don't have any stable discs. I, my normal righty game is the total opposite. I don't have like any understable discs. When I'm playing righty, I like to just smash on stuff. I like to throw my putters hard. I like to throw, I really don't throw any mid ranges. Um, I go right to the fairway and everything that I throw is just like pretty stable. My flicks, I'm always throwing over stable on my flicks. Really none of my high speed drivers are understable or even like neutral. They're all pretty overstable. Holding it with a power grip with all my fingers like tucked underneath the bottom is just super uncomfortable. Um, I would just much rather just comfortably just put the disc into my hand, whatever the fan grip is, and just squeeze pretty tight and that's much more comfortable for me, even with my drivers, than, than power gripping. I'm not sure why. Uh, the past couple rounds that I've played, I've tried to do some power grips and it just, they come out weird, it just doesn't feel right in my hand. So I just kind of wipe my hand off and most comfortably just grab the disc and that's the fan grip that I'm going to use. So I'll kind of demonstrate a throw with a flippy driver. And there is a little bit of a tailwind here. I'm not sure how much that'll play. I don't know if you'll see that, but that's actually a smash. Holy crap. That actually went like 300. <laughs> that was sick. S-Line FD. So you can see, I'm just, I'm not like really trying to crush it. I'm just following the motions, following the form, right at my shoulders, nice little X step right through my chest. And you can just see how literally, literally like really, really simple fundamentals, even with my off hand, I'm not ambidextrous by any means, but just following the fundamentals and just learning and really just focusing on every little thing even with your off hand, you can learn how to throw 300 in a month. And I actually played on blue to blue at Borderland, which is the longest layout they offer. And this was still kind of right after my transition over to flippy drivers. And what was happening was I was kind of treating it like my righty flick form where I would keep my chest towards the target the whole way. And I would kind of go like this and I would like open up, I would open up my hip and I would open up my hip and throw at the same time and towards the end of the round my groin was like super aggravated and really I think I pulled my groin and I was like what am I doing wrong and I just kind of kept pushing through it because I didn't really know what I was doing and when I got home I compared my righty to lefty backhand form and I realized with my right when I'm throwing righty I'll do my X step and I'll completely turn my hip and my body and then go into it and I was like wow I'm not doing anything close to that lefty I was just like walking up to it keeping my chest to it and just like opening my hips and throwing like that and so after that round on blue to blue when I started throwing drivers I went home and I changed things and the change that I made was really just mimicking my righty form so what I would do is I'd start with my hips a little bit more turned nice slow run up and turn around and actually throw into it like you saw me do on a couple of these throws here, there's no pain in my groin and it's actually the correct way to throw. So one more little example, nice and slow walk up, keep the disc nice and high, crouch down a little, kind of turn your hips and everything away and then kind of rip into it. You don't want to be walking up to it and just throwing it like that because that's how I pulled my groin. In the net, in the net. Oh, it almost landed in the net. That was crazy. Okay, so the last fundamental I wanna go over here is my approach to putting as a lefty. When I first started, it was really much easier for me to start straddle and just keep my feet nice and, nice and wide and just focus on my upper body and actually getting a clean release on the disc. So I wasn't trying to mimic my righty form on this one right away, which is just a normal staggered stance like this. I started straddle, started nice and easy, and just focused on getting the disc close to the basket. Because I just wasn't even comfortable throwing the disc lefty like at all. And it just felt really, really awkward. It still feels really, really awkward, but starting straddle definitely gave me just a good 
understanding of how to like give my wrist a nice little snap on the putt. Um, so I'll give you a few examples of like a straddle putt that I would use. As you can see, there isn't much, much steam behind it. And I would say I only stuck with the straddle putt for like two of my first three putter only rounds. And on that third putter only round, I was like, straddle just doesn't feel comfortable anymore. So I did end up eventually switching over to my normal staggered, like righty stance. And I just kind of tried to mimic it as much as I could. So just kind of mirrored it in my mind, just thought about how I could just mirror my righty form, exactly where I would come into and how I would kind of come out. And I would put my weight on my back foot and kind of come straight through it. And it made a world of a difference. And if you go back and look at my last video, the one that I played at Slater Park, my putting was really, really good for only being a lefty thrower for like four weeks. And it actually really boosted my confidence on how smooth my putts were coming out. And they actually had less wobble than my righty putts, which was really strange. But I'll give you a few examples of just my regular uh, lefty staggered putt. So yeah, that was my approach to just how I started putting as a lefty. Started straddle, kind of learned how to snap my wrist a little bit on the putts, and then I switched over to uh, staggered and was actually starting to be able to get some good steam behind them as I'm transferring my weight off my back foot. So hope that was a little helpful tip with putting. All right, so that pretty much wraps up my quick little fundamentals video. Uh, I hope you guys found some value in it. I know that I found a lot of value just learning how to play with my off hand. If anything, if you're getting bored throwing with your main hand, just try to teach yourself how to play with your off hand. It's really fun and it gets you to look at the game a little bit differently. I'm sure when I return throwing with my right hand, there's gonna be some takeaways that I take away from all this stuff. And maybe one of the takeaways will even be throwing a little bit of understable discs, a little more understable discs, just so I can just focus on clean form and getting more distance out of them. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you found one thing in particular a little bit better than another, or you found value more so in one thing than another, please leave a comment and say what the most valuable thing in this video was for you, or maybe something that like opened your eyes up to something that you weren't aware of before. But I really hope you guys find value in this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Drop a sub, drop a like, drop a comment. It really means the world to me and I'll see you guys next time.